So everybody knows how important testimonials are. So if we were to take a look at our testimonial section like this, we want to show you how to create that. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. And so we are in the back end of our content management system in the pages section. And just like we've been doing before, we're using this home page to just add a bunch of content too. So I'm going to click add new content block and I'm going to click testimonials. And I'm going to just add testimonials as the title of my page and click create block. And now testimonials is added to the bottom here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add content to those testimonials. And I'm going to click edit. And we're going to create our first testimonial by cr clicking create new entry. And we'll just title this uh, with the person's name. So we'll just say um, John Smith. And we'll go ahead and add his quote in here. We can go ahead and put our little quote marks front and back. And we can upload a picture of John. So if I click upload new and I choose this 800 by 800 pixel image of John, I can go ahead and click create entry. And we have our first testimony in there. I'm going to create two more. So create new entry. And we're going to title this uh, Jane Smith. We'll add her quote. Put our little quotes in there. We'll upload a new image of her, but I'm just going to open up the library and grab the same image that I uploaded before in the other entry. And I'm going to click Create Entry. And then I'm going to do one more. And add a name of the person. Open up the library, grab that same image, click Select, have it there. And I'm going to add this new quote here. And I'm going to make it a little bit of a different size so you can just see what that looks like. And then I'm going to click Create Entry. So we have our three quotes in there. And I'm going to come to this context area and I'm going to add a title. Uh, we can say like uh, Rave Reviews. And then I can add a little bit of a description. And I can change the background color. So let's change the background color and let's pick a color. And then we could also, if we don't want to just pick a color, we can copy the hex code from Photoshop and stick it in there. We can add buttons, add the URL for the button, choose where it goes. Uh, we have an alternative link if we need it. And then we can click Save. And then for the testimonial section, we have the option to make it image-centric or blurb-centric. So I'm going to show you the difference. So right now it's image-centric. And we're going to click Save. We're going to go to the home section and we're home page and we're going to refresh it. And once it loads, we're going to scroll to the bottom where our testimonial section is. And we can see that it's image centric. So we have image, 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 and we have the text in here with their names. So if we wanted to make it look like this, we're going to go ahead and make it blurb centric. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this to blurb centric. And I'm going to click Save. And when I go back and I refresh this, you're going to notice that all of these items get put into a blurb and our images get moved down to the bottom. Now, if you don't have images on any of them, the images just won't show and that's okay too. So you can go ahead and leave the images in or take them out. And as always, you can go to uploaded items and you can edit these items, these images, title and text for SEO purposes. Now let's go and add a couple more entries to show you what happens uh, with these entries. So let me go ahead and click create new entry. And I'm just going to um, put in some text, open the library, add the person. So I've showed you already how to make it. So I just kind of move through that really quickly because I just want to get another entry in there. So we have a fourth entry in there. And now if we come to the homepage and we click refresh, you're going to notice that we have our first three, and then we have these arrows to move to any additional. So you can add as many entries as you want in here. And when you get to the end, it just moves you back to the first one, to the first set of three. So you can add as many entries as you need to. And that's a great way to do testimonials.